The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Inutabi here, and I'm back from vacation, and let's start off with some G.I. Joe Classified reviews. So the first one we've got is Dreadnought Buzzer, and I'm very excited because I love the Dreadnoughts. Been waiting for these guys for a while. We've got Zartan, we've got Zarana, and now we've got Buzzer, we've got Ripper, and we haven't heard anything about Torch, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come, so... Decided to get him, got this from BBTS. They had him early for some reason. He is number 106, so really jumping ahead here. Um, here's the top of the box, here's the artwork. We've got some grape soda. Uh, we've got the gas station from like the car, uh, the comic, because they used to keep the fridge full of uh, grape soda and something. Was it, uh, I forget what it is. Somebody will know, cheese puffs, I don't know. Peanuts, I don't know. Got uh, drums back here in the back, but the, that's the old gas station. Got the Cobra thing, uh, Cole Slither, I guess, in the background here. North American Tour, 1980. That's pretty cool nod right there. I like that. So, got the uh, art here. We've got some weapons. We'll go over those. Uh, number 106. We've got stats here if you're interested in that. 6.2, so he's point one shorter than a lot of the Joes. A lot of the covers, most of them are 6.3, but it points out a uh, skull of crossbones, belt buckle, got a snake with a dagger through it. So that's pretty neat. I like it. it I think his weapon's a little bit different. It's more like a real chainsaw than like the chainsaw gun he had. I just remember from the comic that he used it to like slice up the, the sky strikers. It snuck into the airfield and tore up some of the jets and they were cutting like the wing off and things like that. So. That's pretty much it. And then we've got the artwork here on the side. So very excited to get this guy. I really like the Dreadnoughts. Um, kind of put them on the shelf together. And then we're going to have to do another shelf with just Dreadnoughts. We've got the Swamp Skier and uh, the Air Skiff. So let's let's get more Dreadnoughts. All right. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. You can see all that good stuff right there. Let's open up and take a look at everything it comes with. All right. comes with the artwork inside the... The thing that holds on the figure, this is pretty much standard. Using the plastic ties, that's fine. I, I, it doesn't bother me either way, whichever way they want to go with that. We've got his crate here with weapons, Dreadnought Buzzer 106. Very cool. And then it comes with some accessories, and uh, we'll take a look at them. So he comes with this, which is <laughs> it's pretty cool, but God knows it's flexible. Uh, Two saw blades on the baseball bat with a spike on the end wrapped in the uh, bob wire or metal wrap. I don't know. Pretty cool. A different weapon than we've seen before. So definitely like that. That's impressive. Uh, we've got this kind of spade on a chain with a handle. Um, you could bend it because the plastic plastic's so flexible. Um, some nice detailing. This is different. I like this. They're not doing the same, same kind of accessories you've seen before. So... Definitely very cool, like that. We've got a little pistol here uh, with some tape around it. I mean, this we've got a port here for a blast effect, so that's very cool. Like this, this is uh, maybe I don't know what this could be offhand, but really no de no detail in the end of the pistol, but uh, it's nice enough. Maybe like a I don't know. It's got some. Some detailing looks familiar here, but can't quite place it. Handle's really wide to me for his handle, for his hand, but you know, pretty cool. He's got a knife, painted silver, black handle. I think, I think this is kind of a standard knife we've seen before. Nothing really sticks out like, you know. And then the glasses here, we've got kind of a gun metal with black. We'll see how these work. Um, I'd almost like for, you know, and to be on the mounted on the figure already, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes because I've heard some good and some bad things. So let's bring in the figure. I mean, he looks good. He's got some things I'm not a fan of, like 
this chest hair and this hair on the arms. It looks more like just like grease smudge or something like that. There's a little blemish of paint on the shoulder here. Uh, not the biggest deal in the world. Blue pants is nice. Got a thing here for the knife, so that's always cool when we can plug accessory in like that. You can put these around here on the side like that. It's got a tear gas and a frag grenade on his chest, some dog tags, the old sheriff's badge, which I don't remember the particular nod. I think there's a nod to that in the comic or something. I'm not sure. The face looks fine. He's got it showing teeth here, ponytail, blonde hair. You know, that's going to limit articulation on the look up. Belt looks good with the silver, the bones, you know, the skull crossbones here. Uh, you know, I don't think anything's terrible by any means. I'm just glad to have a dreadnought at this point. Pistol fits in here nice. Let's put it on the side a little bit more. Uh, we got knee pads, kind of standard to boots. Pins on the legs I do not like. Uh, you did pinless elbows, of course, but you did pins on the legs. So not a fan of that. It just, I don't know, just looks bad at this point. We can kind of get away from that thing. Got the studded belt, goes around here to the back, nothing much. Got a port here for a backpack, but try to stay away from backpacks with that. Figure's got on gloves, he's got tight joints out of the box, good God. Um, but this box was sitting on my porch for a couple of days. So, uh, we've got a watch on the band here, so that's nice. You can, I like to flip the watches on the inside because that's the way you should do it. So you don't have to flip your wrist over. Just a little time saver. Yeah, I did, the, the arm hair thing looks bad. I don't know. Just don't like it. Let's see how these glasses are going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to be a... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't... See, that's the thing. He's got glasses, but... I mean, are they going to fit around his... Back his ears? Yeah, this, this is unfortunate. This is an unfortunate thing. You're never going to keep these glasses on right. And then when you do, they don't look right. Um, you see? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you... It looks, just looks goofy, right? This, this was a bad decision. This was just a, not a good decision on their part. They should have almost just made the glasses onto the face... I'd rather you have done that than do these flexible glasses and there's no attachment point. Like there's no notch or anything like that. It's so, like, keep them on. I mean, you know, I just laid them on there. That doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look great either. So that is unfortunately a loss. Save this for kind of bringing the figure out. It's got a chainsaw instead of a gun saw. Uh, nice detail though. The blade is silver. Uh, it's bendy plastic though. Uh, and it does have a thing here for effect. So if you got the smoke, the smoke effect, and I saw somebody's video, I think it's Bees Battlegrounds did this. I think, don't quote me, I may be wrong, but uh, I think you put a smoke effect here. And you could do like the chainsaw going. It's got a handle here, handle for the hand. So that's neat that you can do that. You just plug it in like that. So, you know, it's a little bit different than what the, the toy and the comic was, but still has a chainsaw. So I think I'm okay with that. I just, the glasses are really just a big negative for me. I just don't like the implementation of that. Articulation on the figure. He can look down pretty good, but he's going to be limited because of the ponytail. Side to side, he's got that neck. You can do all that. Butterfly, rotation of the bicep, double elbow, wrist. That This joint's over freaking ridiculously tight. Waist rotation. Ab crunch is pretty nice. Back and forward. Does what you want. Leg up to there. They got to the side, they got to the side, bring it in, drop down, drop down the hips, of course. Uh, got the thigh cut. It's in here, I think, behind this padding, All right? Yeah, it's just these straps are going to kind of get in your way. You got double knees, but like I said, they're pinned, which just looks ugly to me. The boot rotation, ankle rocker, toe down, stuff like that. The boots look good. Just, it's really just a mess with two things for me, the pin legs and these glasses. Overall, I like the figure. Um, just, I don't think you need to do the, the arm hair. I mean, you could have done the chest hair without the arm hair. I'm gonna see if I can kind of remove this. Cause it just, it doesn't look good. You know, 
Uh, the different weapons, very cool. Like that you're mixing things up. Uh, we'll definitely have to rock it with the chainsaw here. Uh, and have it in his hand like that. Let's see. We can manage the chainsaw, bring it around. God, these joints are so tight though. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that and get this situated. But pretty cool figure. I mean, nice nods to the original. Nice nods to the comic and a dreadnought in the classified line. So definitely excited about that. Can't wait to get the other ones. I know Ripper kind of looks to me better than, than Buzzer, but uh, I always did like this guy. So let me know in the comments, which red knock is your favorite and what are you looking forward to? Uh, I got Tripwire to do again. I got him. He was on the porch. Uh, the strike team should be arriving soon. And then I think the Cobra, his team is coming not long after that. So we've got some teams coming and we'll see those videos. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't, go up there, hit that subscribe button. You help out the channel. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Let me know in the comments, which Dreadnought is your favorite? I'm curious to know everybody's opinion about that. I always liked Buzzer. <laughs> they all were pretty kind of cool. I'm not sure. Monkey Wrench was actually one of the ones I liked the most. He came a little later. But uh, he was a little wild dude. So he he came out of the, the uh, what was it, the movie? Was it the movie or the Serpenter? one of the episodes he he came in later he was uh ex explosives guy whatever so let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more content thank you for watching we'll see you down the road